Have you ever wondered why some people keep struggling financially while others seem to have everything under control? Would you like to discover the common mistakes that might be sabotaging your financial future? Stay tuned, because you're about to uncover five critical mistakes that could be costing you millions. Want to know what they are and how to avoid them? Stick around until the end and transform your financial life forever. Error 1. Not having an emergency fund. Did you know that over 50% of people couldn't cover an unexpected $500 expense? The lack of an emergency fund is a critical financial mistake that can lead to economic disaster. Imagine this. Your car suddenly breaks down, you need urgent repairs, but you have no savings to cover the cost. What do you do? You probably turn to a credit card, accumulating more debt and paying high interest. The truth is, life is full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. An emergency fund acts as a cushion to protect you from those financial surprises. Without it, you could find yourself in a debt spiral that's hard to escape. But how do you create this fund? Here's a simple and effective strategy. Set a realistic goal. Start with a manageable amount, like $500, and then work towards a bigger goal, ideally three to six months of basic expenses. This may seem like a lot, but don't get discouraged. Automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to a dedicated savings account. Even $20 a week can add up quickly. Cut unnecessary expenses. Identify those small daily expenses that add up, like your morning coffee or eating out. Cut them down and allocate that money to your emergency fund. Use extra income. Did you receive a bonus, tax refund, or cash gift? Instead of spending it, add it to your emergency fund. Remember, the key is to start now, no matter how small the amount. Every dollar saved gives you a bit more security and peace of mind. Don't let lack of preparation cost you dearly. An emergency fund is not a luxury. It's a necessity. Error 2. Spending more than you earn. Spending more than you earn is a financial trap that many fall into. It might seem harmless at first, but it can quickly become a serious problem. Let's use a simple example. Imagine earning $3,000 a month, but spending $3,500. That $500 deficit doesn't disappear. It accumulates, and before you know it, you're drowning in seemingly impossible to pay off debt. This mistake can lead to a vicious cycle of debt, stress, and financial limitations. The good news is that there are effective ways to break this cycle and regain control of your finances. Here are some practical strategies to avoid spending more than you earn. Create a budget. This is the essential first step. Write down all your income and expenses. Be honest with yourself. Often, when you see the numbers in black and white, you realize how much you're spending on unnecessary things. Identify unnecessary expenses. Do you really need that $5 coffee every day? Or those subscriptions to services you barely use? Make a list of your monthly expenses and mark those you can reduce or eliminate entirely. Prioritize needs over wants. Focus on covering your basic needs first, like housing, food, and transportation. Then, allocate money to your wants, but with moderation. Use the 50-30-20 rule. Allocate 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt. This method can help you balance your finances more effectively. Plan your purchases. Avoid impulse buying. Make a list before shopping and stick to it. This will help you avoid spending on things you don't really need. Seek additional income. If your basic expenses exceed your current income, consider finding an additional source of income. This could be a part-time job, freelancing, or even selling things you no longer need. Breaking the habit of spending more than you earn requires discipline and commitment, but the benefits are worth it. Not only will you avoid debt, but you'll also start building a more solid and secure financial future. Take control of your finances today and watch your life change for the better. Error 3. Not investing in financial education. 
Have you ever thought that financial education is only for experts or the wealthy? Nothing could be further from the truth. Not investing in your financial education is like navigating the ocean without a map. What happens when you don't know how to manage your money? You make impulsive, poorly informed decisions that can cost you dearly. Imagine not understanding how credit card interest works or not knowing how to invest your savings. These basic knowledge areas can make the difference between living paycheck to paycheck and building a stable and prosperous financial life. If this video is opening your eyes to finance, hit like to support this channel and help us keep uploading more content. Comment on your biggest revelation so far and subscribe with the bell on so you don't miss any financial secrets. And if you have a friend or family member who could benefit from this video, spread the word by sharing it. Let's continue with more strategies that will change your financial future. Here are some easy and effective ways to improve your financial education. Read books and blogs on personal finance. There are tons of free and accessible resources that teach you from the basics to advanced strategies. Books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki can change your perspective on money. Take online courses. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy, or Khan Academy offer courses on personal finance and investment. Many of them are free or very affordable. Follow financial experts on social media. Many personal finance influencers share tips and strategies on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Learn from the best for free. Participate in forums and discussion groups. Online communities like Reddit or Facebook groups can be great places to learn from others' experiences and get practical advice. Remember, the more you know about finance, the better decisions you will make, and the more secure you will be on your path to financial freedom. Error 4. Not diversifying your investments. Have you heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Applying it to your finances is crucial. Not diversifying your investments is one of the most common and costly mistakes you can make. Putting all your money into a single investment is risky and can result in significant losses. Think about this. If you invest everything in one stock and that company has problems, you could lose a large portion of your money. Diversifying, on the other hand, reduces risk by spreading your investment across different areas. Here are some practical tips for diversifying your investments. Invest in different types of assets. Don't limit yourself to stocks. Consider bonds, real estate, mutual funds, and other assets. Each has its own level of risk and potential return. Diversify within each type of asset. If you invest in stocks, don't put all your money in one company or sector. Invest in a variety of industries and companies to reduce risk. Consider index funds and ETFs. These funds allow you to invest in a wide range of assets with a single investment, providing automatic diversification. Review and adjust your portfolio regularly. Market conditions change, and your portfolio should adjust accordingly. Review your investments at least once a year and adjust as necessary to maintain proper diversification. Diversifying is essential to protect your money and maximize your returns. Don't risk your financial future by failing to diversify. Error 5. Delaying retirement planning. Retirement might seem far away, especially if you're young, but delaying your retirement planning is one of the most costly mistakes you can make. The earlier you start planning, the more time your money has to grow. Think about this. If you start saving for retirement at 25 instead of 35, you could end up with double the money thanks to the power of compound interest. Delaying planning can mean working more years and enjoying less of your retirement. Here are some simple steps to start planning your retirement right now. Open an individual retirement account, IRA, or a 401k. These are investment vehicles specifically for retirement that offer tax benefits. Take advantage of any retirement savings plan offered by your employer, especially if they offer matching contributions. Contribute regularly. Automate your contributions so that a portion of each paycheck goes directly into your retirement account. Even small amounts add up over time. 
Invest wisely. Don't leave your money in cash. Invest in a mix of assets that provide growth and stability over the long term. Target date funds can be a good option as they automatically adjust the mix of investments as you approach retirement. Harness the power of compound interest. The longer you leave your money invested, the more it grows. Compound interest means you earn interest on your interest, which can result in exponential growth over time. Review and adjust your plan regularly. As your financial situation and goals change, adjust your retirement plan accordingly. Consult with a financial advisor if necessary to ensure you're on the right track. Don't underestimate the importance of starting to plan for your retirement today. Your future self will thank you, and you'll be able to enjoy a comfortable and worry-free retirement. And that's all for today. Now that you know these five critical financial mistakes, you're one step closer to securing your financial future. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more practical tips on how to make money, invest wisely, and achieve financial freedom. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and share it with your friends and family. Leave us a comment below about which of these mistakes surprised you the most or if you have any personal experiences to share. See you in the next video and remember, your financial future is in your hands.